Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss TF-IDF that is term frequency inverse document frequency calculation with a simple numerical example. TF-IDF is one of the very important uh, way of calculating or extracting the features from uh, textual data. Whenever we want to uh, do some uh, textual classification or document classification, we have to extract the features out of it. Uh, there were multiple methods are available. Uh, one of the most uh, widely used uh, the feature extraction from textual data is TF-IDF. That is nothing but term frequency inverse document frequency. So in this uh, video, we will understand how to uh, calculate the TF-IDF score of uh, each and every word from a given uh, document so that uh, the same concept can be applied while uh, implementing any text or document classification. Many times what happens is uh, we will be given a document and then uh, we need to create uh, such matrix or sometimes a matrix will be given directly. So in this case, if you look at this particular matrix, the rows indicate the documents. There are four documents are there, D1, D2, D3 and D4. And the column indicates the unique uh, uh, terms or you can say that the words here. There are uh, six uh, unique terms are there, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6. If documents are directly given rather than this particular table, uh, we have to write the document number here and the unique words from that document should be listed over here. And then what we need to do is uh, we need to count the frequency of every word and then we need to fill this particular table. That is 5 is the number of uh, words or the uh, T1 words are present in D1. 9 number of times uh, T2 is appearing in uh, D1. 4 times T3 is appearing in D1, uh, T4 is not present in D1, 5 times uh, T5 is present in D1, 6 times T6 is present in D1 and so on. Similarly, if you look at the second uh, row, uh, T1 is not present in D2, T2 is present 8 times in uh, D2, T3 is present 5 times, T4 is present 3 times, T5 is present 10 times, T6 is present 8 times in D2 and so on. So if uh, matrix is given it is already uh, there there is no need to do the any calculation but if documents are there given directly we have to write the unique words here and then we have to count the frequency of each word or a term and then we need to create this particular matrix once this particular matrix is created that is what is called as term frequency we can use the equation that is uh, wij which is equivalent to tfij that is uh, the term frequency in uh, that is ith term in the jth uh, what you can say document the term frequency of uh, ith word in jth uh, document multiplied by log n divided by df of i that is the document frequency of ith word so tf ij is equivalent to number of occurrences of i that is the ith word in jth document DFI is equivalent to number of documents containing I. How many number of documents containing I? That's the ith word you can see. Uh, N is the total number of documents. So, I will show few calculations here. TF-IDF of T1, that is T1 in D1. Okay, so T1 I want to calculate in D1. What is the uh, term frequency, inverse document frequency? Term frequency is known to us, that is 5. Term frequency, inverse document frequency is term frequency is 5 multiplied by log n. n is what? The total number of documents. How many are there? 4 documents. That is 4. Divided by df of i. That is in how many number of documents t1 is present. Out of 4 documents, it is present in 3 documents. That is 3 here. So, if I solve this equation, I will get 0 0.625 in this case. Similarly, uh, if I want to calculate the term uh, in, uh, TF IDF that is nothing but term frequency inverse document frequency of T2 in a D1. So how can I do that particular thing is term frequency of T2 in D1 is 9 that is 9 multiplied by log there are totally 4 documents are there divided by how many number of documents or in how many number of documents T2 is present it is present in all 4 documents that is 4 here. So log 4 by 4 is equal to 0 so 0 multiplied by anything is equal to 0 here. Similarly, uh, if I want to calculate the TF uh, IDF of T3 in D1, T3 uh, is appearing 4 times in D1, 4 multiplied by, uh, we can say that 4 documents are there, in all the documents T3 is present, so 4 divided by 4, hence it is again 0, 
similarly t4 in d1 is uh, it is appearing zero times in d1 multiplied by log four times four documents are there divided by three that is t4 is present in three documents but zero multiplied by anything is again zero here t5 that is uh, the frequency of uh, t5 is 5 in d1 multiplied by log uh, that is four documents divided by what i can say that uh, uh, it is present in all four documents hence it is equivalent to zero again here t6 we will calculate that is the frequency of t6 is 6 in d1 multiplied by log four documents divided by t6 is present in three documents hence the total value is equivalent to 0.7496 with the same way we can calculate uh, the uh, TFIDF of T1 in D2, TFIDF of T1 in D3, TFIDF of T1 in D4 and so on. Similarly, we can do the calculation for all the uh, terms over here. So, this is a very simple process uh, with which we will be able to calculate TFIDF that is nothing but the term frequency, inverse document frequency. Uh, this, these are the numerical values. Uh, using this particular uh, numerical values, we can do uh, the text or document classification in this case. I hope you understood how can we calculate the TF-IDF score of each and every term in a given document. Uh, if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.